Hey folks, hope you're all well. Um, I'm back again, um, as promised. Um, I just wanted to come on and just say thank you for um, all the nice comments and all the encouragement um, from the last video. I'm sure there's a lot of people actually as well who kind of have just come across this video and you know they're looking and they're saying, you know, you know, it's about um, Callum Brothers and I'm obviously not a Callum Brother. Um, but I am Lorraine and I'm married to Adam Killen and um, it's me who, if you've been following the boys on social media, it's me who takes the photographs, makes the videos and runs the social media um, pages all for the boys. Um, so it's me who has been behind all that now for probably the best part of seven years. Um, so as promised, I told you that, you know, if you sent me in any questions or queries or if anything that you wanted to see, that we would try our best and accommodate it. So um, we have been asked an awful lot for a bit of a machinery tour. We will do the harvesters first. Um, they are, they're here, um, well, two of them's here, um, and we can go from there. So if you have been following us for a while, um, you will already be aware that we are big crone lovers. Um, we are currently running three harvesters there at the minute. Um, so we've got a 700, a 630 and then the 1180 um, which came last year. So I'm going to show you these whenever they're parked up. Um, you'll see them in action in a wee bit. So this is the big girl. Um, she came brand new last year and um, so this is her second season with us and do you know what she's just something else um you'll i'm sure you've seen her in action and if not you'll see her later on in this video um but she's really really an impressive impressive yak she's very dirty at the minute um thanks to the fantastic weather that we have been having but um she definitely she definitely is um, no regrets, no regrets at all in, in buying this one now. So she's sitting there, she's 1156 horse and um, she's, she's probably, um, probably one of the best things probably that ever came to this yard. I remember that um, there was quite a bit of speculation whenever the 1180 came into Dublin Port um, last year. Nobody knew who had bought it, nobody um, had said where it was going um, and it sort of filtered through that it was coming up north rather than going down south um, and then whenever I suppose it was kind of revealed that it was us that had bought it, um, I don't know if anybody was really that wild surprised but um, she's she's definitely uh, an impressive machine now, um, it's Philip who drives her um, and to be honest like whenever they were going out to buy the third harvester it was it was an even playing field because they knew that they're going to have to buy you know new headers anyway um so you know everybody was on the running um but the 1180 um definitely has been uh has been a really good good choice so next up we've got the 630 um so this is the harvester that johnny drives um the 630 is in her Sixth season now. Um, she came to us back in 2016. This was the first brand new harvester that the boys actually um, bought, and um, another great wee harvester. You know, she's she hasn't ever skipped a beat. It's quite funny actually because whenever the the 6:30 came um, at the beginning of May um, in 2016. Um, along with the first four rotor wreck and whenever the two of them came we all thought gosh this is massive you know these are so big I actually remember driving along the road in front of the harvester um, acting as like an escort with the hazard lights on because we thought it was so big and so massive um, but now she's like a wee toy <laughs> uh, it just shows you the kind of how um, how things kind of progress and, and move on even the rake as well, you know, we thought, gosh, you know, how are we ever going to get in anywhere with any of this machinery? Um, but we did, and uh, yeah, we've never looked back. 
So our third harvester is um, the Big X 700. Um, so she actually isn't here at the minute. Um, she had a bad breakdown in first cut and is down at McGee Farm Machinery. Um, we have fantastic backup and support from both McGee Farm Machinery, um, who is the crone dealer for the North, um, and Farmhand, who obviously are, um, are, are, are in charge of crone um, in Ireland. Um, both of them are fantastic. They look after us really, really well. Um, I think she's fixed now, but um, yeah, we'll hopefully get her back up and running um, for, for second cut. Um, but, you know, it just goes to show you that first cut this year was a very, it was a very heavy and hard slog for all the machinery, not just the harvesters, but you know, everything, everything got it tight. So that's us. There's um, there's the, the two harvesters we have at home and then there's the third one. She's just in her way in her holidays at the minute, getting a wee bit of TLC. Um, but uh, we will leave you with some first cut action, um, just some bits and pieces that was captured. Um, just throughout, uh, throughout first cut in general, and um, we will be back again. And next time, we will show you something different. Sitting lonely in my room again, trying to find the words to say, but nothing comes out. I am looking for the better day It seem like they just stay away whenever I try There's so many things that I keep in my mind My friends keep me out and it hurts every time With all the emotions I built up inside Oh, why can't I? Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time oh, oh. Sitting lonely in my room again Acting like I'm innocent Why do I try? Cause now I'm feeling like a fool again Thinking I can fool myself by telling me lies When there's so many things that I keep in my mind I hang around people I don't even like If they can be happy and walk with a smile Oh why can't I? Someone look for me if I disappear No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time oh, oh. That I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away It's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time